Have you ever imagined that our distant ancestors once lived hiding in trees to avoid being hunted? How did we, from frail creatures without weapons or fire, become the rulers of the planet? What made humanity abandon the life of walking on all fours to stand up and begin conquering the world? What moment changed everything, transforming weakness into strength? And are you ready to explore this grand journey? Let's travel back in time to discover the incredible story of our origins. Let's go back millions of years when the towering trees of Africa shaded the sky, where a small primate species leaped between the lush green branches. They were proconsul, our distant ancestors, creatures living hidden among the foliage, far from the dangers lurking on the ground. With bodies ranging from small squirrel-like sizes to massive gorilla-like figures, proconsul lived peacefully, with small and rudimentary brains. But it was here, in this tranquil world, that something miraculous began to emerge. Reason. The beginning of a great journey, whose ultimate destination is us. About twenty million years ago, when Proconsul began its evolutionary journey, they skillfully climbed among the branches, using all four limbs in perfect balance. The way they moved, with open palms instead of curled fingers, reflected a remarkable adaptation to life in the treetops. The skull of Proconsul was not much larger than that of modern primates like macaques, but a subtle sign, a shorter snout and smaller canines, began to reveal an important evolutionary shift, reduced aggression, a trait that would become foundational to intelligence. However, ten million years ago, nature changed in unforeseeable ways. Africa's climate became harsh. Forests gradually thinned, turning lush rainforests into open grasslands. With fewer trees to leap from branch to branch, Proconsul's descendants were forced to confront this change, coming down to the ground, walking on two legs. Artipithecus emerged. This species still clung to life in the trees, with feet capable of grasping but their leg bones and feet had evolved additional arches, allowing them to move bipedally. Their long arms extended nearly to their knees, and their fingers still retained a half-human, half-ape appearance, reflecting the ongoing struggle between two worlds, the trees and the ground. Imagine those first steps. Artipithecus leaving the safety of the trees, yet not entirely abandoning their home in the canopy. Their steps were not strong but hesitant, as if being drawn into an inevitable adventure. They were the amphibians of the evolutionary world, living in both spaces, between the sky and the earth, between ape and human. This journey was not a choice but a forced adaptation. And then nature, with its ruthless indifference, continued to push them forward. Four million years ago, the slender Australopith appeared on Africa's new grasslands. These were no longer the tree-climbing creatures of the past, but officially bipedal beings. With stronger steps, their legs were designed for walking miles. Australopiths not only adapted to the new environment, but thrived. They formed tight-knit social groups, relying on each other to survive, facing dangerous predators on the vast plains and more importantly, they were curious. With their brains beginning to expand, the skull of Australopithecus afarensis still retained some ape-like features, such as a long snout and receding forehead, but the first signs of humanity had begun to appear. Their heads were held upright, their canines reduced, and their brains started to grow. Three million years ago, this species of Australopithecus continued to evolve into the first humans. Around 2.5 million years ago, a great breakthrough occurred. Homo habilis, or handyman, emerged. They were the first to create stone tools. Picture this. Stones being struck, sharpened into weapons, tools for hunting and defense. These were crude axes, but they were enough to change the game. 
For the first time in evolutionary history, humans began to control the world around them. The stone axes, though primitive, were powerful tools that became weapons against predators, tools for hunting larger prey, and, more importantly, instruments for building intellectual strength. From this point, life was no longer just about mere survival, but a race for dominance. 1.5 million years ago, Homo ergaster was born. With sharp stone tools, they became formidable hunters of Africa's grasslands. Archaeological sites show that antelope bones, elephant remains, and other large animals were hunted and processed by Homo ergaster with advanced stone techniques. The African plains were no longer the exclusive domain of wild beasts. Humanity had risen to power. And perhaps, in a moment of great surprise, Homo ergaster discovered fire. Although evidence of this is scattered, if true, it marks one of the most important human inventions. Fire not only provided light and warmth, but also symbolized the control of nature, a protective tool and a powerful weapon. The journey didn't stop there. These groups of humans began migrating from the vast African grasslands to new lands. They weren't just hunters, but the first explorers, pioneers who crossed the boundaries of the known world to step into new horizons. But the planet did not welcome them easily. The struggle for survival continued. Fossils bearing predator bite marks remind us that life was never safe. It was this harsh nature that pushed us to evolve further. Around 500,000 years ago, Homo heidelbergensis appeared, with brains as large as ours today. They not only knew how to hunt, but also built rudimentary shelters, began burying their dead, and created the first artistic marks, though still rough. Although their faces were still wild, there was a gleam of reason in their eyes, the light of beings that could think, feel, and understand the world around them. Evolution was nearing its completion. And now, after millions of years of suffering, challenges, and triumphs, we, Homo sapiens, stand at the pinnacle of evolution. But this journey is not the end. What began in the African trees is still continuing. Every day our intelligence expands further. The journey of reason and discovery is ongoing, and we are only at the beginning. Remember, every time you learn something new, every time you face a challenge, every time you adapt to new circumstances, you are continuing the evolutionary journey of humanity. Thank you for patiently watching until the end. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment below. I would greatly appreciate it. See you in the next video. Sincerely.